What's up, everyone? Man, I know it's been a long time, but I felt like I should make an, some videos. And you know, I've always loved this game. Been playing for it since it started. Um, so I thought, you know, help out new players. You know, with uh, ways to help. Master Styles has been killing it. Um, his Discord is amazing. If you jump in there, it's great. Everyone's pretty knowledgeable, always helping. So if you have a chance, like and subscribe him and follow his Discord. So I want to do an, an account overview. It's been a while, so kind of show you where I'm at. Um, so for hero wise, Pretty much, I mean, the main ones, uh, I've stopped at certain ones just because the Awakened Hero is coming every three weeks. You know, I'm a Vanguard guy, so Claire uh, is not looking good, but also the last Vanguard that was Awakened, Leo had to be reworked a couple times, so, you know, she might be need to be reworked. Her damage is not there. Zane's damage is way higher. Um, and then we have a new Vanguard coming in a week or so. So normally he's going to be stronger than the last one. Typically, but he might be more support wise where he makes them stronger. You know, whatever route they want to go. It'd just be cool if like the guy was kind of evil. You know, kind of like a Death Knight. Those are my World of Warcraft days. Or a Paladin. That would be awesome. Just throwing that out there for you devs. But, you know, while we're gone, we got for the tank. I got mine. Uh, where is he at? I think he's a, yeah, a seven. Um, 10 million. So, got him all up where he can be. Uh, working on Ravenna right now. She's a five. Uh, I have a surge set built, but it's not what I like, so I gotta redo it. Um, Ampu, Ampu, uh, built pretty strong. Um, I have two style builds that I have him with this, cause I'll show you commanders. There's one commander for here. So he's a little lighter in the uh, crit damage, but then I have like this one where I have higher uh, crit rate on one of my commanders. And so this one's pretty beastly. Um, Leo, I'm not gonna go through everyone, just the main ones. No, that's his. And then my new baby. This is probably one of my best builds. Uh, she is a monster at A7. Pretty. She can, she's made the summoner team a monster. Uh, you got Rosaris. I've kind of, that's a little too much uh, crit rate for her. Uh, A5 for Rickert, which is a nasty build. Could go higher, but. Then everybody else, uh, my other favorite, and this guy, I'm going to slowly build him up to I-5, Immortal 5, but that's a, he hits like a truck. I could work on my attack more, but more Immortal levels, he'll go up there and kind of rework it around. But... Pretty much everyone in here is almost EX30 because with all the mystery gifts, events, I've been leveling all of them up. I mean, creep, come on, never use them. Uh, did not think that I put him. No, I think it's him actually. Sorry, I'm going off. Yeah. 
He's even at EX30. So that's the heroes. Um, all right, commanders. I'm a big person on this. I'm probably gonna make a separate video on this because I I tend to think that the heroes, all skills or ultimate is actually more important than the substats under there. Because, let's see, um, we'll go with Wamagon, or hell, actually. Here, we'll go with any of these guys, with Zane. So he's got plus two ultimate. So let's go. So here's his ultimate. So level three is 2,400 percent. Plus two goes to 2,800 percent. That's an extra 400 percent of attack. Where you might see plus eight percent with HP. My personal opinion, I think that's more important. Some people might think different. It's cool. I have always, um, everyone always used to do tear dome, you know, 10, then you spend the four or whatever it is. I was the opposite. I always did this and built up my commanders with all the hourglass and everything because I think it's important. Um, so my tank one, pretty strong. I got front HP. Um, crit rate is also, you know, with uh, Wamagon with crit rate is great. Hunters. So I have two hunter teams. So I have, this one's kind of the original. I probably have a feeling Rebecca will probably maybe be the next one awakened. I don't know if not next one, but. They're gonna do a hunter, but I could be wrong. It's not the greatest on that. It's my energy one. Almost have all energy across the board. Skanu would be great. My assassin. I also, I think I have two assassins too. This is my Vanguard one, you guys saw. You know, front and attack, back attack, five HP. Wish that was 10. Uh, my summoners. Um, working on this one because I'm gonna keep the eight on the summoner crit rate, and then I'm gonna work on getting Sif on there for all skills is my goal for her. That one. This is my second, where, my second hunter one. So I mostly have the Awaken and then the new Hunter. And I'll be honest, I only have one copy. I have not built her up. I just, nah, I might down the road. Uh, my second Assassin, which all five Assassins across the board, just saying, pretty awesome. And I still got crit rate and attack. This is my assassins for my Hagger Gun. Probably said that wrong. Again, all assassins across the board and a lot of attack everywhere, front, middle. That's a strong commander. That was, that's a good one. Uh, my second energy where I have Ravenna. I'm kind of working on this one. So that again, got the energy uh, crit rate. So I'll keep those four and then just try to build on to another uh, hero. Uh, this one I'm kind of working on. It's a tank uh, crit rate. So you're gonna use this more for uh, your endless battles and all that for PVP con or PVE content with them. And then this is my 
I guess you would say PVP or PVE uh, summoner, just ampoot to all one skills. I want a crit rate everywhere. So I can mostly stack more crit damage. Um, this one I probably won't mess with. Probably, yeah. I mean, I would like to get a mod on this. Actually, Sif, but a mod Sif. Um, I think that's it for those. All right, so here's the one thing that I've kind of, it's, you know, I used to play Pay the Win. I'm a little spender now. Uh, my account's pretty strong. Uh, there's another reason why I don't spend much, and it's because I've inherited a, a nice account from someone else. Uh, long story short, mostly work-wise, they kind of can't play anymore, so I took over the account to just keep it going. Um, it's a very strong account. Uh, so, but this is got out of hand. I mean, I never agreed with this. I don't think this was the way to go, me personally because it's just, you could build the perfect team, your uh, gear would be a lot better than everyone, you, you know, more strategic, you know, playing with different comps to kind of beat someone. Now, I mean, you can just, you know, with these, the gems and everything, I mean, they can just ramp up. I mean, there's some of them in here, which, hey, we need spenders because the game doesn't survive without spenders. So I'll never disagree with that. Um, but, you know, worked on the main ones, always attack, revive crystal, uh, a couple other ones I want to get on to, but, uh, uh, like I said, um, so I've actually working on story mode, uh, my summoner team, I'll show pretty much I've been, I've shot up already three chapters. And it's not even the right stuff in there to do it. But it demolishes it pretty good. Sif is a big deal with it now. Um, resources. You can call me a, I'm a hoarder. I will always build up my resources. So if a new character comes out, I can throw on gear, temper gear quickly. Um, I love theory crafting, so this is my fun part. Uh, if the Vanguard comes out and he's a monster, I can pretty much four star his whole four set. Won't do it, because I would build up some of the other Vanguard stuff, but um, yeah, so the big thing, crystals, I have not used them uh, for Claire yet. She's A3. I'm working on it, but I'm kind of deciding what I want to do because A8 would be great on Sif for PVE content and everything. So we're still deciding if Claire gets reworked. Um, this account, I mean, pretty much uh, number two in Holy Land, 102. My other account, Absolution, is number one. It's pretty much it on that. I mean, if you want. Uh, Master Styles was actually showing today with uh, Sif for the Crimson Abyss, and I was at like 26 or something when I never, so I autoed all the way to 28. Yeah, I'm about, I get down to almost 20% with this one, but I can manual it, try to work it. I'll probably play around tonight, see if I can beat it. You got to watch out with Ampu, because he'll kill all the summons. Um, still working on this. I normally can finish 12. There's some times on it. Uh, right now, the Vanguard boss is one of the tougher ones. Because um, he's pretty strong now with spider. It used to be easy, but I have a feeling that the next Vanguard is going to be a big deal with that. I wish they would make some Vanguard content. 
they're my favorite out. They've always been. Uh, go Contusion Triangle. I'll be honest, I have not really tried to go as far. Um, 21 or Roulette. Uh, tank Team up to 23. I'm working on it. This one's, again, this is probably everybody's toughest one right here. I probably could go a lot further on this one now. I just haven't tried with Sif now because I'll show you. This has always been the strong one, but uh, this could play around and, you know, you could add Sif, take out Jax. It's still going to give him enough ammo for Ampu to get going. So this could be a different play around. I'll probably do that today. Um, Mirage Space, haven't really put... So again, these are pretty much easy to get the last one if you have your team built. What's killing everyone is these always the first two teams. You know, that's going to be your tough ones of kind of going through. Crimson Rot, I can't stand it. Stupid. My energy team is probably one of my worst. I don't really... That's why I'm trying to get Ravenna to A7 because she makes a big difference on it. So that's me and Controsian Triangle. Soul Mine, I have not pushed it in forever. I don't even know when. Um, they switched their rewards around. You know, it would probably drive people to do it. That's going to be the biggest thing with this. If they want to keep the game going, you know, where they switched it with... Uh, what is coming up for us? Ascension uh, Arena. You know, they switched out all the rewards and stuff, which is great. Where's the shop? There. Great, they used all these. Now, because these are in here, we should start seeing a Twilight Lands. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, maybe, if the final 10 or the top one would be the... Uh, the final piece for the support of the vanguards. It'd be a great time to kind of put that out now. It was the last week you could get it if you spent 200 tickets in uh, uh, the artist or for the SPs. I held off for that. Oh, that's another thing I want to go to real quick. It's already a long video. I apologize for that, but I'm just kind of going through my DH brain kind of going. So, SPs. Yeah, I slightly built Cora to, what is it? Yeah, four copies, or I can't remember what that is. But I, I'm not a big fan. I'm not doing it. I'll get a copy just so I can get points for when they have Endless Battle. But... I have one copy of Heimdall. Now, he is one of my favorite. I think he's the coolest looking of them. Now, he's really good at one copy. I even have a baby set built for him. It's not the greatest, but I have a good set built for him. One copy, he still does pretty well. Um, same with Korra. I don't really have... Yeah, I didn't build anything. I just kind of gave her a set. Which is still not a bad set if you really look at it. I mean high crit rate. I mean, I could tinker that around and probably get that to 83% crit rate or wherever I need to and around 6% crit damage. And it would be a great build. Oh, down here, where is she? Artemis, got one copy. I even have, oh, do I? Yeah. Now that was on, where is she? Hunter team. As you can see, I only got one copy. Maybe sometimes, but she was awesome when she came out. But because Artemis was getting awakened and she was already doing more damage, it was... Which doesn't make sense because Zane does more damage than Leo, really. So, Leo's just more tankier because he has more stats and everything. Zane would be better. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really... 
Now I do have 348 saved up. Um, my guild leader, shout out the ATF. He's kind of taught me to save. I never did, I used to use them. Now I'm not gonna get Connor, I'll slowly build him after this, but uh, the next SP, I'll be ready to get at least a copy. Um, be great if I got two copies, but I might hold off and just get one copy and then go back and get Connor just so I have all of them so I can get the points. Um, but yeah, so, well, that's my account. Um, I'm big on theory crafting. Um, I like playing around with teams and gearing. So if people have questions of what gear to put, um, I'm probably going to make videos on the summoners then vanguards and hunters kind of what you want to look for to, uh, make your count better. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if I could do better at something, let me know in the comments, like, and subscribe. See y'all in the next